Be the emperor of the whole Roman Empire, form your own empire. I mean, we are. We've done that. Have a government with a parliament. Have subjects over 250 development. 125% discipline. A three-star... I'm guessing this... Will this actually go away if you lose the three-star general? I would assume so. Okay, but the rebels are being crushed. Why are you on carpet siege? I think you should probably be on, on auto hunt rebels, no? So you can deal with this. What's the rebels actually in um negative mandate, local separation? What well, local separation? I mean Hoxie is a claim on the on the province, but that's not really anything I need to concern myself with. Better place cursor on the culture icon on the diplo window. Culture icon on the diplo window. Oh, here. Okay. So, let's see. What, what's their primary culture? Polish is their primary. Your primary is Finnish. Croatia is, I'm assuming it's Croatian. Yeah. Thessalonica is probably Greek. Persia is probably Farsi. No, Persia is actually Armenian. Georgia is also Armenian. So, apparently Persia and Georgia are both Armenian empires, I guess. She's like, sure, if you say so. Armenia apparently is very powerful. Wait, how many provinces are actually Armenian? I mean, okay, that's actually a pretty substantial Armenian population. But the fact that they are in charge of the Persian Empire? The Persian Sultan is Armenian and... <laughs> and the Sultan of Georgia are also Armenian. Okay, that's amazing. Armenia doesn't exist as a country. However, Georgia and Persia do. Persia, of course, I, they, did they lose Tehran? No, they're close to it. We can also already embrace the... Oh, I have, I have 14,000 ducats. Okay, yeah, let's just embrace the... Um, embrace industrialization now. And we have any more... Build us some... There's a shy of Armenia rebirth victory too. Let's go. Og. Economy change goes up. Oh no, not five mandate. Whatever will I do? Okay, we're, we're capped out on uh, Diplo again. So we're just going to prom promote Merktalism a bunch more. There we go. Get up to 30%. Gets us at 242. Merktalism kick in. I think it should be at the end of the month. Should be at the end of the month. 251. Okay. More money for us. You love to see it. You love to see it. Of course, we got some peasants uprising. But I mean, when is there ever peasants not uprising? You know what I mean? Peasants, they do love to be uprising. Policies, national focus. Turn that off. Get us a discipline. Spend more cash on him. So we got 545. Five. Our stats are looking excellent, I will have to say. So are we? Not, who's the number one great power? The fact that we're not, and it's actually France. I'm guessing this also includes France's... Yeah, includes their colonial holdings. But actually, even with elder colonies, they would still be number one. Damn. Holy, holy shit. France is... pretty powerful, I would say. If anything, they're actually a little scary. Got a new country in existence. Little little tiny uh, chakra over here. Welcome to existence. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we got a small 12 stack, but yeah, our 25 stack can deal with that, no problem. So after this, like, where do we want to be expanding towards? A great question. I mean, we could attack you, right? Attack you and give all your territory to Tonkin. You're allied with Mong Yang to uh, Pegu, but I'm not really too concerned with any of those guys, to be quite honest with you. We can evade Kamur, bring them into the war. They technically have some claims there. They have, they have 3,000 men and they got a running elephant. Yeah, so I think we're just going to declare war. Apparently we can actually do it under nationalism as well. Core return. Do you, only have, you should have more than four cores. No, you only have four cores. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll probably give you the entire country, but you know, imperialism, call Khmer into the war. 
I think you guys are basically okay. I'm gonna bring... Ah, no, you know what? I, again, I have so much cash. That why not just have mercenaries fight all of my wars for me? It's like, oh no, they don't have artillery pieces. Who cares? I don't need artillery pieces. Bring a local army down south. Put them into this uh, city. It's like, oh no, Mong, Yang, and Pegu. Yeah, no, we're definitely... I have to do stuff uh, between, you know, EU4 and Victoria 2. There's going to be some changes around the world I have to make. It's going to do the same thing in Victoria 2 as well. Because I know the, the borders can absolutely look terrible in uh, in Hoi 4 if you don't do things properly. But there are definitely, there'll be changes. Like, between EU4 and Victoria 2, there might be like a, um, a week or two gap. Just as I'm converting everything to Victoria 2 to make sure things actually look nice. And are at least reasonably functional. We're not at war with you. Why do I have my troops over here? <laughs> I brought my troops into this into this province being like, you know, we need to kill this guy. We don't. We need to kill you. <laughs> and the same thing will happen during, uh, with Hoi 4 as well. Because with Hoi 4, I also want to try to modify the generic focus tree of all the countries. To the best of my ability. So I have, to, I have to kind of learn how to mod in very simple focus trees. I'm not going to really give any countries like lore, obviously, because obviously the, everything we played up to that point will be the lore. But, you know, just to try to make sure that, uh, when, especially when you get the Hoi 4. But just once we get into, um, into Hoi 4, because it, it depends so much on national focuses. That, um, yeah, carpet siege all this. That it actually functions. Yeah, so you're going to siege all this territory. They divide Australia. I mean, Australia doesn't look great. I will admit that. Again, what I'm, I'm going to try to, um, you know, mod in things at least a little bit. Maybe give India free cost of bellies against these guys over here. Just so they can end up cleaning up the territory. Or, you know, I might just give Australia all of that land. Depends on how I feel. What am I doing? I have to spend my admin points on something. Oh, uh, what the hell do I spend my admin points on? Um... War exhaustion? No. Um... What can I spend my admin on? do da do da I need to spend it. I need to spend it on something. States. Make state. Make state. Make state. There we go. I bought us like four months of, of time here. Will we see MG in Caucasus, Slovakia? I'm not too sure what you mean by MG. Maybe, maybe I'm missing something. I'm not, but I don't quite know exactly what you mean. Well, 25 kill 42. I don't know. We're going to bring two armies down just in case. And once again, we're almost at our maximum. Okay, we, we, we can maybe get some tech soon. That's something. Yeah, we have like one month left on you. Um, Harmonize. Okay, that doesn't even do anything. Mothball, forts, estates. Uh, infl I can't, we can't even, like, reduce inflation. Like, think with, like, the Ming. The Ming's just too powerful. We can strengthen, though. No, that, that costs military points. I literally do not know what to spend my admin on right now. I guess we can just, like... What, how, how developed is Beijing? 72? You know what? Just give me one more development. Boom. There we go. <laughs> it costs 200 points. Kind of solves the issue there. Why would you go this way? Makes no sense. Go here first. Thank you. Mountain General. Mountain General. I think I, I think I might know who that is. Oh no, not mercenary cost. Meritocracy mandates. Yeah, I guess it would have made more sense to develop the countryside, huh? Okay, uh, we're going to go to economic. Not loot, not devastation. Development. 
Is there a shortcut for this? No. We spent some of our, uh... There we go. Sounds good to me. So this will fall soon. Again, what I want to do is just give everything to Tonkin. I don't know if we can even afford that. I don't know how expensive all this land is. The answer is no. We actually can't quite take all of it. Release nations. We got Choppa. We can release Choppa in the south and then give our vassal this territory in the north. I don't even know if that's good for us, though. Again, we have so much money. Uh, more buildings. Recruitment center. Sure, why not? Build one of you. Literally, you can't build any more of these ever again. Build one of you. Nothing there. Nothing there. I guess we'll just build like a ton of universities. There we go. We'll be incredibly educated. That's something, right? Okay, we do have some troops over here. Be a little bit of a pain. Not Carpet Siege. We want Auto Hunt Rebels. Again, we're going to Auto Hunt uh, this territory here. You guys will Auto Hunt. Not Drill, because I don't really do the Drill, even though I know it's actually good. You're going to Auto Hunt in this territory. And that should be okay for now. Zero percent with you. I guess we could just bring like a naval unit down. I think even just like one single naval unit. Ah, wait, that's way more naval units. You know what? Let's not uh, sink a ship for absolutely no reason. Okay, there's a small naval invasion on their way in. You know, I don't think there's going to be any rebels really down in southern China. So let's just bring you guys down south. And get you all killed off. Come on. Stop. Stop running. Stop running. Come on. Stop running. Stop running. I guess we have Force March. I don't even know. I guess, you know what? Let me just go take back the territories that are sieging from us. Territories, I think, it's a little bit rude that they're trying to take. Is Mandate of Heaven yours? As far as I know, we have Mandate of Heaven. Um, where are my modifiers? There they are. Trade success. Neo Confucianism. I thought we had the Mandate of Heaven. Well, apparently, we have. Neighboring countries, non enacted step nomads, whole and non tributary state development, less than 300. No conflicts. I mean, I have... Yeah, the Celestial Empire. Is that not the, the Mandate of Heaven? I thought it was. But I mean, a little bit of devastation never hurt anybody, right? Probably. Is the event in Hoi 4 to still have the Ming collapse? Because I, I don't think they, co they don't collapse that often anymore, right? Like, they've changed something with, like, the AI, and they don't really... What about you guys? Like, I've noticed that you haven't even sent any troops actually in my country yet. Congratulations, you are now just going to Carpet Siege, Mong Yang, and Pegu. Take this land. Oh, hello! Where did you guys come from? I mean, we've taken over your entire country. You know, I'm, I'm, all I'm saying is that you probably should give us the stuff. I'm going to give you to Tonkin. I'm going to give you to Tonkin. I'm going to give you... Congratulations to Tonkin. I mean, Tonkin gets everything, right? Like, Tonkin's cool. Give you to Tonkin. I'm not going to give any of it to Khmer because they don't have a province of the sea. I mean, they have Corzon already, but it'll look terrible, so I'm going to say no to that. How much land is 100%? That's 98 right there. And does that even at least connect... Okay, at least connect Southern Tonkin to Northern Tonkin. I really wish that Auto Hunt Rebels would also just fight other armies. I feel like that would be really useful. Mandate, 15 Merit... What are you? You're Meritocracy. Give me 5 Mandate. I don't even know where Mandate's actually even located in this. Subjects, Military, Estates... 
Yeah, I actually don't know where Mandate's located in the, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, down here. Currently, we're losing 0.26 so due to, uh, yeah, due to devastation, some corruption, and the unguarded nomadic fort frontiers. But, you know, what can I do about that, you know? Oh, so you probably should put a uh, leader in charge of this army. You're terrible. You're, eh, you're a little bit better. We'll take you. 3,000 docket. You know what? I can afford that. I can't afford that battle, though. Get me the hell out of here immediately. Okay, but your territory is getting sieged down, right? So, okay. Pegu. You're out of the war. Which means that this battle that we were losing, we're actually... It's, I guess we're mostly fighting a nom. Lose 25 of each power. Honestly, losing 25 of each power is probably actually good. Yeah, you don't even need to go to Pegu anymore. Just go to the capital. What the hell is that movement? Yeah, go there. What the hell's wrong with you? Officer Court, 10% infantry combat ability, fort defense, ship durability. Give me, I guess. No, give, give me taxes. Taxes are cool. Yeah, I need to deal with all these tiny armies. They're being more than annoying. If anything, actually, I kind of want Mong Yang just to, like, give up. HRE collapsing, China collapsing. China's not collapsing. It's just having... Okay, Croatia might be collapsing. What the hell's going on with Croatia? Are they at war with the Commonwealth? Oh, the one thing... When we were playing Croatia, the one thing I tried to avoid was a war with the uh, Commonwealth. But it looks like the AI did not understand their predicament. Also, I guess you go for the military idea. Offensive. I mean, what I, quality. Offensive. Um... I guess we'll go quality for now. Give me two of those immediately. Thank you. Do you like debuff for low mandate? Well, right now, uh, her mandate is national unrest. Oh, no, this, this is actually horrible. <laughs> oh, no, that's actually really bad. Um, okay. So may maybe we end this war a little bit sooner than I was originally anticipating. Yeah, you know what? Let's just end this war now. <laughs> I didn't realize you were taking such terrible penalties. Can I lower... What, what's our current unrest right now? I mean, 0.16 isn't that bad. It's still ticking down. Devastation. I mean, no matter what, we'd have the unguarded nomadic frontier. One of the following must be true. Is not the Emperor of China, neighboring country, has not enacted step notepad, total and own number of states is less. Is it because we border... No, I was going to say, do we border you? We don't border you. We, we border you, but you're not nomadic, you're Muslim. So Hoxi must just be way too well developed then. Um, country, country. Uh, Hoxi... 593 development. Because that's not our development, right? Not the Emperor of China. Neighboring country has not enacted step notepad. Total and non tributary state development is less than 300. Currently 2,542. Need lots of tributaries. I, you want, you want to say, I can get some tributaries. Uh, maybe I can get some tributaries. Uh, Curry favors, solve the alliance. Okay, let, let's see. Does anybody actually want to be a tributary? You hate me. What about you? You're a tributary of them. No, 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 no. You can't be a tributary of them. Influence nation, break your alliance with Yerling. Maybe we can break lives with Mong Yang. Yeah, sure, why not? We're not going to do anything with it. So let's see. You are my tributary. What about you? You want to be a tributary? No. N are not neighbors. Well, I only have like four neighbors. What about you? 
you're already you're a tributary of this guy. What about Mong Yang? You you have tributaries of your own. What about Pegu? Pegu will become a tributary. There you go. At least somebody's figured it out. Um, anybody else want to be? What about you? We no, we don't border you though. What about Japan? No, Japan has tributaries. We know that. What about Ayutthaya? No, they've got development of their own. You would say no. You already are my tributary. You should probably not be in a uh, Hyaxi. Okay, so we, we've got like one more tributary. So like, I'm sure that's good. If I if it's in bordering a tributary, does not count. Okay. Well, maybe then we have a bit of an issue, okay? Maybe we've overextended ourselves ever, ever slightly so much, okay? Just a little bit. Not, nothing too crazy. Morocco, oh, Morocco exists. France is now attacking their way into North Africa. Welcome, little Morocco. Italian Maghreb. I, this is look look at the disaster that currently uh, exists in Iberia. The suffering of the 1821 or war ready to make massive tributary system once again. Well, probably I'm trying to think because we're we're probably we're around two hours, probably around like two hours fifteen minutes into the stream. We're gonna be switching countries. We're not gonna be ending the stream. We're just gonna be switching over to somebody else, and then it's the AI's problem. <laughs> And if the AI collapses the country, that's not my fault. That's the AI's fault. Why do I have 44,000 men here? Go get out of Beijing for a second. Um, I mean, like, the, even the rebel situation, it's not that bad. 